Yo, Vistat here. So, 1.6 version preview special program just came out, and we're just gonna react to it. I haven't watched it yet. I just woke up to this. So, to the Genshin Impact it's version 1.6 special program. Yay! <laughs> pretty loud. I'm Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler Ether in Genshin Impact. You know, Windblade. And today, okay. I'm joined by three amazing voice three artists. Barbara. Oh, you're so <laughs> nice. They are. Night, summer night, event, night, yo, Pelonies. summer. Reporting for duty. <laughs> Hi everybody, summer. I'm Queen Basu and I voice Klee, Spark Knight of the Knights of Pavonius. Do you want to come fish blasting with me? Really? Sure. <laughs> Klee, you know the consequences. Uh oh. And as for you, honorary knight. Uh, I can explain. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Zach. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Sutherland and I'm the voice of Jean, acting Grandmaster <sighs> of the Knights of Pavonius. Jean is the current dandelion knight, too. That's right. And Laura? Current. Oh, right. <laughs> Ta-da! Barbara is here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Laura Stahl, and I voice Barbara, the deaconess of the Favonius Church, and uh, the idol singer of Mondstadt, I suppose. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like we've got an all Mondstadt crew today. Yeah. And actually, this is the first time we've had four hosts together in one special program. Whoa, I'm so excited. We're going to have a lot of fun. Absolutely. So are you all ready for some version 1.6 previews? Yes, yes, yes sir. Woo. <laughs> right. And that's the spirit. Is there a new I'm area really though to explore? Too. But before we get there, let's take this moment to thank everyone in the Genshin Impact community for their love and support of the game. For sure. Everyone's been so exciting and sweet and lovely and wonderful. Your enthusiasm brings me so much joy. Thank you. <laughs> I've been loving getting to know the Genshin Impact community and the fans. There's so much positivity, and I just love moments like this and opportunities to connect. So great to be here, and I'm so glad all of you are here. Yes, it has been incredible to be a part of something so uh, amazing with such awesome fans. Thank wow. you all so much for all your love and support. I feel truly grateful. Yeah. I totally agree with all that. Better? Yeah. Okay, so why don't we get the ball rolling with a quick overview of what players can expect to see in version 1.6? Yay! Finally, version 1.6, here we come! Yeah, oh, the ice. In version 1.6, we'll have a brand new character, some new weapons, and a series of brand events. Brand new character. And in addition okay. to all these, I haven't like looked again, into the leaks too much. In the game's main storyline. <gasps> Or maybe it was Finally, shown, but I haven't we'll like. We'll also be having some amazing optimizations and updates added to our overall gaming experience with the version 1.6 update as well. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh yeah, we might as get usual, skins, right? We'll be it giving like... away redemption codes throughout yes. the stream. And they might appear at any time during the show, so stay vigilant. I got the codes already. <laughs> yeah. I'll put them in the description. Now, let's take a first look at the official trailer for Genshin Impact version 1.6, Midsummer Island Adventure. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't expect Cleet to fly across. All right, so I'm assuming this is a trailer. Master Jean, I want to ask for some time off because I want to go somewhere. Oh, speaking of which, I still have a promise to keep to Klee. What the hell is that? Flower. Those fish won't blast themselves. I got a terrible, terrible letter and need to go to a certain place. Dodoko is very important to me. I won't lose to Dodoko. Coming along the Ganyu Island, right? It's so romantic. It has something of the unknown about it and seems to have its fair share of dangers. And yet, the mystery is circles? all part of its beauty. Is that more islands? I to bring Jeffy Gumpties, Dodoko, and myself. Let's go! And get a boat. Get a boat. Now we're it's a boat game. Trying so many different genres in this game. Help? Do you tag it or what? Oh, it's like basketball? Look at this. Coming soon, huh? 
Wicked girl of flame, you have finally arrived. I've waited far too long. Who the hell? Sound like grandma. Though such courage is admirable, but it is now admirable because. Samurai-looking boss. Yakuza? Oh, you make clones. Dual blade too. Oh, he's gonna be in the abyss. Okay. When the vision bearer dies. The light in their vision will fade away. Organizing the clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. Your opponent is new to the clash, but he has quickly become the dark horse of the tournament. Oh. The vision is missing. The sounds of nature turn into a clamor of noise during stormy weather. You remind me of a... Oh, damn. Okay. The big birds are coming. Well. High. The birds come! Cool though. Is he fire? Because he's red. Red character. In the outset, supposing each of the seven archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? There will come doubt a day it? when I Wait, too shall Electro? wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. The voyage oh, to India. Yeah, he's wearing red. We will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. The part of your journey that lies after the storm. May well prove to be the most arduous. What? I remember the story. If lo oh yeah, so it becomes a boat shooting game. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mihoyo. Okay. Oh, you're dodging them. Oh, you hit it back. I see. What's this? Unknown domain open the way, therefore. Is this like special abyss? Oh, this is permanent. Gathering the conscious. Hmm. Seems like a calm, chill thing, except for the battle. I like the battle parts. Ah, the okay. warm summer. Tropical islands, surfing, all that good stuff. Don't forget that we also surfing. have a new Boat character riding. to check out. I mean, yeah, he looks super cool and he's got that Nakazuma vibe. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait to know more about him. Not to worry, we'll get some details about him right away. Yes. Okay. Right away? Okay. Cool. But before we introduce our brand new character, let's give away our first redemption code to our viewers. <gasps> so the codes are really just gonna come hopping out just like that? <laughs> just like my jumpy tumpty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? Uh, the okay. code will be dropping in three, two, one. I already got go, the code, so we can skip this. Go. We can skip this part. It looks pretty cool, though, man. Snaps. Dude, he's playing um, a leaf, man. Yeah, he has to be viral. Wait, the animal? Wait. He went red, but he does animal stuff. Water, too. Wait. Everything. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. Well, he is animal. This blade. It yeah, is the, the last link I have to the land of my birth. Oh, I was so told it was animal. Our playable character in version 1.6 is Kaedahara Kazuha. Ooh, Kazuha. Such a long and lovely name. Kaedahara. Mm -hmm. yeah, his outfit is so flowy. I love the maple leaves. Yes. Yeah, right? <laughs> his style like reminds me of a certain Fatui Harbinger, Scaramouche. Oh, yeah. You know, the one we saw in the Unreconciled Stars event? That's uh -huh. right. Yeah. The Inazuma outfit style is so awesome. And oh, I like yeah. the way Kazuha right. speaks, too. It's so poetic. 
Poetic. <laughs> I personally think his fighting style is really cool. I mean, did you see how he drew his sword? Yeah, yeah, so I know, cool. like for real. So, so okay, wait. So Kazuha will be the first playable character we've ever had from Inazuma, right? Yep, that's right. Wow. Inazuma. So does that mean we'll actually get to explore Inazuma with him? <gasps> Well, that would technically be pretty difficult to do. Although Kazuha is from Inazuma, he has been temporarily taken in by Beto's Crux Fleet. Oh. And there's been that? word from a reliable source that <clears throat> he's currently wanted by the Inazuma Shogunate. <gasps> Just don't tell anyone, okay? What? what? Yeah. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. This this baby face is a fugitive. Yep. But he's so cute. <laughs> oh, it's, it's hard to imagine. I just, but, well, looking at his expression, though, he does appear to be someone with an interesting story mm. behind him. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what happened to him. Me too. One thing is for sure, though, definitely wasn't pleasant. Oh, my yeah, baby. Yeah, definitely. And that's probably why he laments over and the memories animal. of his home. I mean, it sounds like you really can't go back anymore. So yeah. Don't worry, Kazuha, we love you. <laughs> yeah, no matter the reason, though, Kazuha is a wanderer now. He travels around, taking in the views of the mountains and rivers, listening to the wind, and... So, he's kind of like a traveler. Right. <laughs> Wait, I mean, he's similar. a traveler, too? Sorry. Yeah, and a very good-looking one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've learned a bit about Kazuha's background, but I want to know more about his skills and talents. Ooh, yes, yeah, sure thing. So, mm -hmm. Kazuha carries an animal vision and wields a sword as yeah, his weapon. Animal. When Kazuha uses his elemental skill, Chihayaburu, he unleashes a secret technique that pulls objects and opponents towards his current position before launching the opponents within the area of effect, dealing animal damage and lifting Kazuha into the air on a like rushing them. wind current. Whoa, okay. I guess I'll use my leftover primos and hopefully get them. Because I already have pity and I pulled a leak on freaking uh, Zongli well, banner. So. Wanna try Jean's wind current? Huh. Um, no. But thank you. No, I'm good. <laughs> While Kazuha is in midair from the effects of Chihaya Buru, he can unleash a particularly powerful plunging attack, Midare Ranzan. His plunging Raza. attack damage is converted to animo damage Ooh. and will create a miniature wind tunnel that pulls nearby objects and opponents in. So nice. cool. Ooh, mm -hmm. another character with special plunging attacks. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. travelers should note that the tap effect of Kazuha's elemental skill can also be used in mid-air. And lastly, if you hold mm. his elemental skill button longer, mm -hmm. it charges up to unleash greater animo damage over a larger AoE. Whoa! Uh, it looks mm -hmm. like Kazuha can stay floating in the wind for a while and decide when to plunge back down. Cool, huh? <laughs> that looks so fun! Uh -huh. <laughs> Sounds like a good way to mess with Ruin Guards. <laughs> <That's> yep. <laughs> <laughs> with his talent, Solmon's Swordsmanship, when his elemental skill comes into contact with any of the other elements, elemental absorption will occur, oh. and Kazuha's plunging attack Gio. will deal additional damage of that elemental type by a certain percentage. He's a good support. Whoa. Whoa. So cool, uh -huh. right? And what's even cooler is his elemental burst, Kazuha Slash. <laughs> Same thing With happens. a single slash, Kazuha deals AoE animo damage, and his blade's passage will leave behind a field named Autumn Whirlwind, which will deal AoE animo damage at set intervals to opponents within it. <laughs> elemental absorption can occur in this field too. Oh, what? It's Damn. so pretty with all the maple leaves floating around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it almost feels like Kazuha. It sucks when I using his Gio. enemies with this dazzling display while taking them down with deadly attacks. <laughs> I love that! <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah, I mean, I'd be cool with dying in such a mesmerizing field if I were the enemy. <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> I get that, I get that. <laughs> well, another talent of Kazuha, Poetics of Fubutsu, grants teammates an elemental damage bonus to their corresponding element upon triggering a swirl reaction. Okay, uh, time swirls. to study up on how to trigger swirls. these swirl reactions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to hear my advice? Yeah. 
Let the wind lead. Ah. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, okay. Kazuha also has an exploration talent called Cloud Strider, which decreases sprinting stamina consumption for his party members. Nice. Okay, okay, great. Let's go travel with Kazuha, given that he is also a traveler. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Zach. One traveler's all we need. No more room for ether here. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> I'm kidding, either. I'm kidding. Anyways, that's all we've got for this new character, Kazuha. And I know everyone must be curious Damn. about the new uh, event which is coming though. in version 1.6. So I'm thinking of how... In version 1.6, Klee will be reappearing Klee, huh? in her own event wish first. Yes, yay, I'm back. Then we gotta wait till the end of it. <laughs> yep. After which, Kaedahara Kazuha will appear in his very own event wish. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Moreover, we will have some brand new weapons coming our way in version 1.6. Oh, okay. Ooh, Freedom yeah. Sworn. Mm -hmm. The five-star sword Freedom Sworn and the four-star bow Mitternox Waltz will be available in version 1.6. Ooh, great names. And they mm -hmm. look amazing, too. Seriously, right? Well, all right. This was all the latest we have on the new character and weapons. In the next section, we'll be getting okay. some more info about a new monster, Magu Kenki. <laughs> Laura, I'll let you take the lead on that one. Sounds good to me. I won't let you down, Big Sis. Let the show begin! Alright, that new new weekly boss or what? Or just a new world boss? Huh? Wait, he's a puppeteer? Wait. Someone controlling him? He's a string. So someone's controlling him. It's a puppet. Whoa! I'm a mechanical oh, human from another nation. Oh, wow. Looks like our new monster is from Inazuma too. Mm -hmm. It looks like a samurai. Bingo! And the, the core of Magu Kenki lies in its phantoms. When its HP drops below a certain amount, it'll enter the phantom stage. Ooh. Phantom <laughs> stage. <laughs> During this stage, Magu Kenki's attacks will be converted to animo attacks, and its phantoms will begin to appear and deliver coordinated attacks as well. Oh, so basically, we'll be fighting There's multiple only... enemies at the same time? Right! The Phantom's attacks will be imbued with elemental energy, dealing both animo and cryo damage. So not cryo only do you too, need to huh? be careful of attacks from Magu Kenki, you must also dodge attacks from its Phantoms. Oh boy, taking animo and cryo attacks at the same time? Mm-hmm. Watch out for those swirl reactions. Believe me, I know. <laughs> <sighs> Sounds tricky to handle. Yeah. <laughs> Not but it's win, always fun you know. once you're finally able to take down the more difficult bosses. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Of course it is. Hmm. Nothing, nothing <laughs> super hype, but well, take a look pretty at its chill mask. and it's, it's nice more than new just stuff. A decoration. In fact, I like the new character. This mask will automatically block any I don't know how it works with my team because it's all Geo. Combat. So, uh, hmm. anyone hoping to pull off some clever sneak attacks from a distance might find themselves disappointed. No, I was just thinking about using an archer to attack it from a distance. Yeah. <laughs> the phantom will come out. Well, mm. Looks like you'll have to get up close and personal to defeat this one. Just use only. Let's have a duel of honor, and may the sunset be our witness. Witness, witness. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Sounds like a line from a samurai movie or something. But wait a minute, isn't this monster summoning phantoms to gang up and fight alongside it? I mean, where's the honor in that? Well, well, when you put it that way. Okay, this is ability, let's though. just put that aside for right now. With the new monster comes new storylines. So let's right. move on to some exciting new info on an all new Archon quest, shall we? <laughs> yes, let's please. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the new Archon quest is called Autumn Winds, Scarlet Leaves. Ooh, Scarlet Leaves. I don't see the name on here. Oh, okay. I think I can guess who this story is related to. Mm-hmm. Hmm, yeah, is, I think I know I swear too. his outfit oh, makes it so Let's mystery. shout out the answer together, shall we? Sure. Um, okay. One, two, three. Kazuha! Hey, wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice <laughs> guess. <laughs> We love you, Zach. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very funny, guys. But why does this new character play the front and center role in the upcoming Archon Quest? Well, don't you remember where he's from? Oh, right, Inazuma. 
Uh huh, exactly. In a previous Archon, Archon quest, Zhang Li told us that Inazuma was presently closed to the outside world, making it nearly impossible to get in. Yeah, we don't have Maybe much he can info help us get us in. closed nation, except that things don't seem very peaceful right now. So, in order to make our way to Inazuma, we'll need somebody to tell us how to enter the nation first. Uh-huh. And Kazuha might just be the person to help us. We've got some screenshots from the storyline, along with some dialogue snippets. So let's take a look. Yay! The Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I hold. Martial There'll arts? Be a whole bunch Joel. of folks taking part to showcase their talents. Mortal Kombat? I mean, getting uh, Inazuma, Dragon Ball? Not fighting in some tournament. Inazuma? You want to go there? Oh, okay. Oh. Mm, yeah. You want to? Yeah. <laughs> I am intrigued. Yeah. <laughs> and well, do you think Beta would be up for helping? I don't know. Wait, wasn't she also from there, there kind of? She seems pretty invested in her own martial arts tournament. Mm, that's true. Mm. I too am invested in this martial arts tournament. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to know more. You too. But somehow we got to get to Inazuma, right? Uh-huh. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is just a big this is a big hint, but I can't tell. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And we'll get to learn a little bit more about Kazuha, too, so... I know! I can't wait! Yeah. This is so cool. All right, well, let's see if there are more hints in the next screenshot, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision, and oh. not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. About a it's based on our smell. It's weird. <laughs> Paimon has the best lines. Oh, I love I this so much. He's got a good nose or something. I guess so. <laughs> well, here's my question. Uh huh. What does Paimon smell like? Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm super <laughs> curious. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <it's an emergency. laughs> like hi. Smells delicious. Mom. And, and Kazo has a cutie. He oh is. my gosh. I love the way yeah. he talks. Yeah, and it's so interesting how he uses scents to evaluate people. Mm. I mean, I can smell people. I wonder what I smell. I mean, my smell is in the uh, <laughs> emergency food. My smell. I don't know how to describe All the right, smell we're, of people, we're but then I have a cute smell sometimes. <laughs> Let's I get can to our smell last the food shot. through yes, the doors. <laughs> um, food. But the voyage to Inazuma is a treacherous one. You will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. Damn, that wind tempest. One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm may well prove to be the most arduous. Arduous? Who to be oh. most arduous? Oh, intriguing. Mm. It seems like there might be some unpredictable dangers awaiting our journey to Inazuma. But I don't think it'll deter the travelers. <laughs> right. No yeah. way. It never does. does. Never. <laughs> never. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That sounded kind of scary. It doesn't sound like smooth sailing to me. <laughs> it's scary, but it's also like total poetry. I love the way Kazuha Ar speaks. So Arcus. smooth. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know if he's coming with us. That's all I want to yeah. know right now. If you pull I want him to be my new best friend. I wonder. Anyway. If you get him, you gotcha. Speak me to sleep. Just saying. He'll save us all. <laughs> Get out of the way, traveler. No, just kidding. What? <laughs> We're both travelers. We can all be friends. There's enough love to go around. I, I hope. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Aww. Hopefully so. Now, well, that's about all we've got for this new Archon quest. And in our next section, we'll unveil the exclusive the event. events coming in version 1.6. Uh, Who knows? Are you ready? They need to make it more permanent. Yes, so let's go. Event time. <laughs> uh, wait, actually, we're gonna give away our second redemption code right <gasps> now! Oh, Surprise! Yes! Yay! <laughs> we're redeemed. Oh, the art is nice, I have to say. Welcome back, everyone! <laughs> Thank you very <Yay>. much! <laughs> Let's talk about the exclusive events coming in version 1.6. Yes, please. <laughs> First, we have a oh. whole series of Summer Island themed events. Oh, yeah! Oh. <laughs> These are gonna be my favorite because Klee will be playing a super important role here. Oh, yay! Woo! Klee! Go, yeah. Kuna! <laughs> I'm sure a lot of players are really excited for Klee's reappearance in version 1.6. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Get ready!
ready for explosions, travelers. Oh, Ooh. explosions. You know I'll be ready. <laughs> <laughs> The events are all outside Mondstadt, so we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Our main event is called Midsummer Island Adventure. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Oh, you get a book this or star This time, book. we'll be exploring a mysterious group of islands. Tains, Lightning, wow. Fold, Sam, Story and begins Mini as Arfison? Klee receives a mysterious letter sent by Todo King. Who threatens in the letter to take Todoko away from Klee? <gasps> oh no, that's so mean! Aww. I know, right? What? <laughs> I know. How can anyone take Todoko away from Klee? Yeah, crime. It's a crime. <laughs> so, in order to protect Todoko and Klee, travelers are going to search out the remote Todo land in hopes of settling the situation Dodo with okay. Dodo King. Ooh. So, Dodo King? who is Dodo King? And that whole Dodo Land thing just sounds kind of fishy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll That's get to right. know more about the letter and its sender once the events are live. True. Yeah, but anyways, I, I'm really curious about where we're going to explore <laughs> and how we're going to get there. Yeah. So can we jump to that part pretty quickly? We'll go. Yeah. Fresh for tea. <laughs> Call some people who didn't eat yes. yet. Did some this work. area of islands will be a whole new area right for travelers to explore. To facilitate our exploration, there will be special waypoints located throughout the area. Additionally, travelers will be able to summon the unique Wave Rider boat at Wave, Wave Rider. Rider waypoints. Wait. Wait a minute. Wave so Rider. we're actually going to be out there like Is that from sailing tomorrow? on the ocean? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool! That's way cool. <laughs> Wait, so my question is, can we sail with stamina? our friends? Hmm? Yes, we can. <laughs> what? Oh, we'll so you be wait, able to summon back. our own individual wave riders and sail the seas with other players in co-op mode. Ah, what? Okay. Oh, wow, but that it, sounds so nice. Does it work nice. towards the okay. event, though? If you I'm officially accepting friend requests. <laughs> I'm ready. I need friends. <laughs> you would better be. Uh, finally. It's about time. Congratulations, Zach. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> With the Wave Rider, we can get to different places in the archipelago. Not only will we encounter some new materials, but we'll also get to solve some brand new puzzles to unlock treasures hidden among the islands. Ooh, <gasps> that sounds good oh. to me. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Wow, I can't wait to explore this area and take in the beautiful island scenery. And take more <gasps> screenshots of it all. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Totally. I mean, it's always a refreshing feeling to have something new to explore. Uh -huh. mm. And with all these islands comes new storylines, I'm guessing? Ding, ding, ding! That's yes! right! <laughs> we will have some brand new world quests to complete along the way. But I'll be leaving those for the players to explore. Right. Um, actually, oh, whoa, whoa, no spoilers, remember? <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I mean, that's how it's supposed Anyways, to be. Anyways, throughout different stages of the main event, we'll be unlocking different kinds of event challenges, which each feature their own unique gameplay. Different kinds of gameplay? Uh, wow, I mean, yeah. sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there'll be plenty of rewards for travelers to exchange in the event shop. So, let's take a closer look. The challenge unlocked with the first stage of the event is called... Main Cannon, make ready, fire! Aww. Fire. Aww. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so it's been reported that monsters have been building some fortifications at sea. Travelers will be tasked with piloting their wave riders and shooting cannons to send those pesky monsters to the bottom. Oh. Bang, bang, boom! <laughs> Sound kind of mean. Some They're of just these doing their own floating thing, towers man. can simply be destroyed by cannon fire, but others cannot. In such cases, we'll need to leave the wave rider and board the enemy towers for battle. Oh, what? Okay, yes. okay. I definitely didn't expect to see naval warfare coming in an event. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> for sure. Send them off. Some of the fortifications even have protective barriers around them, so we'll need to find some other means of breaking through. And that's not all. There may also be dangerous whirlpools near some monster fortifications. Oh, no! <laughs> Players must be careful not to be swirled away. Swirled away or do you suck in? It might be interesting to push other players' wave riders into the whirlpools. <laughs> oh. Yes, that's a great idea. A move like that would mean at least a week in solitary confinement. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> All right. The challenge in the next event stage will be... Whirlpool off to starboard! Full speed ahead! 
Oh, <laughs> racing. In fact, it's a race, and it's comprised of two parts: the sea course and the air course. Wait, wait, wait! An air course? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna glide too? Yep, that's right. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. So let me get this Damn. straight: we're gonna be out there both sailing and gliding all in the same race? Exactly! Oh. Players will also need to do their best to collect Wave Splitter insignias throughout the race. Yeah, yeah, you can Both the amount of Wave Splitter insignias collected and the time spent to complete the race will determine the final score. So be sure to practice. Uh, oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Our third type of event challenge is called... This event? Samurai Sidon to arms! <laughs> Ooh. Wait, this is Samurai? an event? It's not a permanent the boss? The Kenki we oh, just man. introduced? That's right. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. This monster looks important. Did he stay? It's the mysterious Dodo King that wrote the letter to Klee. <gasps> what? Dodo yeah. King? Well, I guess it's certainly possible, but... Right? Yeah. Like, so, okay, okay. So, so, is no, it the Dodo King? Uh-uh, no oh. way. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Don't even try to tell oh. me. Tell us, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Back to the event. Is he dodging? The goal of this game is to defeat this tough-looking monster. So take care out there. And last but not least, the final stage of the event will feature... I passed him bombs loaded! Blow him away! <laughs> <laughs> find stuff and blow this them up? is my personal favorite. You can throw Harpastum bombs everywhere! What? Hey, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, I mean, how can you possibly turn Harpasta into bombs? Well, I meant that it sounded a bit unsafe, but that's a good uh, question, too. <laughs> mm, I've got my eyes on you. Uh -oh. oh, no, 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 no. We'll be blasting away some monsters. No civilian property damage in sight. Ooh, thank you goodness. Them? <laughs> in this challenge, travelers can use three different kinds of harpastum bombs to clear out nearby monster fortifications. Ooh. Maybe we could even blast some fish this along the way. Why did you Oh, I don't think so. Uh -oh. I like defeating it. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the event challenges we can expect to see in the Midsummer Island Adventure event. New skins? Travelers yeah, yeah. will be able to use the shiny flotsam and mini Harpastum event currencies to exchange for rewards, such as the four-star catalyst, Dodoko Tail. Ta -ta. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ta -ta -da. We'll be able to get this catalyst fully refined with its specialized <laughs> refinement materials via the event shop, just like in previous events. It's so cute. And it totally <laughs> matches Klee's art it style. Does. Yeah. I think so, right? too, yes! Travelers will also have a chance to exchange for the Northlander billet trove in the event shop. With this trove, we can select any billet of any weapon type. Wow, that's great! So, the I players use any? stuck in the festering fang task any. because they're bad luck in getting a Northlander polearm billet, but you this get could be their savior. Uh, totally! Uh, okay. And on top of that, there will be some brand new furnishing blueprints available inside the event shop. So right. don't forget to check those out. Oh, okay, okay. I like the variety of rewards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. Yes. <laughs> and Laura, it just uh -huh. so happens that our next event is about your character, Barbara. Oh, you don't say? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See? <laughs> See the picture of Jean and Barbara in their summer outfits? Yeah, they look so pretty Skins. and summery. I know, I love them. Look at her little ducky purse. I'm dying, I love it! Okay. Skins, skins, skins. <laughs> yeah, these cute summer outfits will be oh. the first two alternate costumes available for characters Remember in Genshin Impact. Skin. Oh, wow. Discount. Master Jean's costume, Sea Breeze Dandelion, <laughs> will be available via the in-game shop for players to purchase for a limited time discount. Oh, sweet. And Barbara's shop. costume, Summertime Sparkle, <laughs> will be claimable for free through our special event, free. Echoing okay. Tales. Oh wait, so we're we're getting we're getting the summer costumes. That's so cool. Oh, <laughs> and it's so nice that we'll be able to claim one for free too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about the Echoing Tales event. Sure. So during the event, there will be some magical echoing conches. Not only can we listen to some hidden stories from them, but also we can claim I rewards when we've collected a certain amount of conches. Oh. <sighs> The event screen looks so pretty. Yeah, it's like we are under the sea. With lots of fish to blast. <laughs> hey, well, good thing you can't blast stuff underwater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that's true. <laughs> the next I don't know, event to introduce what the also takes for. place on the island. It's called Kaboom Ball Combat. In this event, we'll be confronting something called a 
Dodo this one fortress. looks fun though. The Dodo Fortress will shoot Kaboom Balls of various kinds, and we need to use our Dodo Guard to reflect the Kaboom Balls and deal damage to the Fortress. Whoa, okay, so that almost sounds like a new kind of sport. Mm-hmm, yep. The basketball. When we deal enough damage to the Dodo Fortress, it will enter a fury phase and shoot Kaboom Balls at a faster pace while increasing the probability of special you get Kaboom a Balls name card. appearing. Uh-oh. <laughs> this one sounds like it might be pretty tough. Yeah. Aw, don't worry, Zach. The Dota Fortress it. can be defeated. And after that, it refreshes, too. Huh? The refreshes. more Dota Fortresses we defeat within a set amount of time, the higher our score will be. Damn. Note that there will be different Kaboom Balls depending on the stage. Oh, so can we team up with other players for this event? Yep, but only two players at a time. Oh, oh okay. hey, Stephanie. Yeah, we should play together. <gasps> yes, please, anytime. Yeah, sister power. Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, anyone interested in teaming up with me? Uh, no? <laughs> I mean, yes. it's all the good. Man, the we'll feels. have you covered, Zach. <laughs> During a challenge, players can pick up some Shazam fruit that grants special effects. Once we have successfully Shazam. finished a challenge, we will gain some Enigma gears to exchange for rewards, including an exclusive event name card. <laughs> name <laughs> well, seems card. like we have a lot to add to our collections. Mm -hmm. And since there are many well, monsters event coming constantly out, though. trying to get on like, the island, they don't drop it'll everything be our mission once. to defeat those monsters in the event Never Ending Battle. Battle. Ooh, battle. Never ending battle. <laughs> <laughs> so all we need to do is defeat them? Could it really be that straightforward? Hmm, sounds like Zack wants something to spice it up a bit. <laughs> oh, okay. You've got such a warrior spirit, Zack. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. There will be tons of special conditions to add variety. Ooh. First of all, we'll get to choose the difficulty of our challenge. Always and go course, the highest. A higher difficulty Expert. will result in higher scores. Yeah, Always. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the challenge, powerful berserker opponents will emerge among the enemies, and momentum discs will descend upon the field. Momentum. When players defeat berserker opponents and use Harpasta to destroy the momentum discs, they will gain momentum. As momentum reaches specific amounts, more buffs will be unlocked to help players complete the challenges. Nice. Ooh, it sounds like a lot of fun. I know! <laughs> the challenges of this event are scattered all around the archipelago, and each challenge has their own stage features and momentum blessing to consider. Ooh, looks like we'll need to pay attention to the different details for each stage. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh, and, and, and we get to take a nice little cruise to the island sides along the way. Oh, that. Cool. <laughs> right? It seems oh, like it all of these events will give us a chance to really explore the archipelago. Yeah, and there are so many different kinds of gameplay in the archipelago area. I'm already amazed. So cool. Yeah, me too. But aside from all the archipelago area events, we'll have an event that happens outside the area as well. Legend of the Vagabond Sword. Oh. Ooh, Vagabond. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty this one, epic sounding name. This one's yeah. more fighting, right? And what can we expect to see in this event? It's a domain challenge. In the event, three powerful foes await. Ooh. We could kick up the difficulty of Geo our Vichette. challenge and select certain players or conditions to achieve higher scores. Ooh, and I suppose we'll be challenging the three bosses we Oceanid. see here in the image. An Oceanid, a Primo Geo Bishop, and our new monster. Yes, Magu Kenki! <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure I'm saying this right. Magu, Magu Kenki? Kenki? Uh-huh, that's right. Yeah, see? Oh, cool. <laughs> Honestly, I love all the rewards. But I also the love Zong playing Lee, on easy Noel, mode. Oh my Increase gosh, you. totally. I got you covered, Stephanie. Players will gain first-time completion rewards when they complete each challenge for the very first time. So even if you play on an easier difficulty, it'll still be worth your effort. Besides, each time your combined score reaches a new milestone, you combined can also score. claim more corresponding rewards. So just give it a try. Okay, no sounds good. So yeah, we'll do. And with that note, we okay. shall move on to the latest optimizations and updates coming Detail to our information. game. I believe Zero navigation that function for tracking, navigating, and All right. Okay. <laughs> go, Zach, go! Yay, Zach! <laughs> 
The first optimization coming in 1.6 is about navigating to enemies via the Adventurer Handbook. After the Can version update, when players navigate and defeat an enemy using their Adventurer Handbook, the Handbook will then automatically track down the next enemy of the same type. Oh, oh nice! That's a handy little update for material farming. Yeah, that, that's yeah I know, good. right? Yeah. The next optimization is regarding the PC version. Genshin Impact will be adding some additional hotkeys to its PC client. Nice. With this update, players can pull up their friends list by pressing the O key and enter the party okay. setup screen by pressing the L key. Oh, which damn. definitely nice. helps skip some tedious steps. Oh, definitely. Sounds awesome. We'll be able to switch out nice. our party members much faster then. Friends O key. <laughs> <laughs> And that's not all. Version 1.6 will be adding domain details to the domain entrance screens. This will provide a detailed oh, list of the enemy. monsters and content of the corresponding challenges. Okay. Oh, this will come in handy for any players who are feeling unfamiliar with the domains. Yeah, yeah it's always good to get some intel beforehand and Ascend prepare accordingly. Uh -huh. Go up the world level. <laughs> By the way, when we present. teleport from a domain directly to other locations, the game will no longer show the challenge failed screen. Yay! It feels rough whenever you see that screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. A screen I see all too often. <clears throat> Aside from all these optimizations, the Serena Teapot will also be getting a new feature in version 1.6. <gasps> Get out! Yeah. First, after command. the version update, we'll be able to invite up to eight characters at a time to our realms upon oh, wow. finishing the tutorial task, A Teapot to Call Home Part 2. While these characters <laughs> reside in our realm, their character companionship experience will gradually increase. Oh, wow, really? So cool. Friendship is that's magic! Good. It is magic! <laughs> totally. And not only that, when our adeptal energy rank increases, the rate at which character companionship experience is gained Damn. will also yeah, be increased. Yeah, I have characters I don't use. Ooh, nice! So, can I players can interact with the characters in their realm? We'll see. <laughs> I mean, you can talk Each to them, character yeah. will have their own favorite furnishing set. Oh, when wow. players collect the whole set and place it in their realm, the corresponding character residing in the realm will give a gift to the player and even have special dialogues unlocked. Oh. Wow. It's all the more huh? reason to collect more furnishing blueprints. Yeah. yeah, it's so awesome that the teapot is getting more and more features. Love it, love it, love it. I need to work on my teapot. It's under continuous development and will get more optimizations in the future. Let's wait and see. Okay. Now seems to be a good time to release our third and final redemption code! Redemption code! Great! Oh, can I do the countdown for our viewers? Yeah. How did you all like the special program? I loved the special program! Kazu, I love the way he speaks. New costumes, I'm particular. Welcome, Esteem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Oh, is this Ayaka? Yo. Welcome, esteemed travelers. It is an honor to be with you today. Sorry, I had to skip all this I stuff. am master of Inazuma Kamisato Art Tachijutsu, Kamisato Ayaka. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Long ass name, okay. Perhaps you have already heard prior mention of Inazuma's current state of lockdown under the Sakoku Decree. Yet despite such restrictions and tumult, word of your feats and deeds across Mondstadt and Liyue has still managed to reach the ears of the oh. people of Inazuma. I myself ponder by which means such outstanding travelers as yourselves will choose to travel to our nation of Inazuma. Upon your arrival, when? perhaps seven? we may meet at Komori Tea House over a pot of hot tea, or even indulge ourselves in a game of Go, if go? you would be so inclined. <laughs> it goes without saying that your presence is greatly awaited here. Now then. Allow me to present you with oh, a brief peaks. introduction of the islands of Inazuma before you make your official arrival. Not a plant, huh? This is Watatsumi Island, an island draped in dense foliage and breathtaking colors. Breath At the center of this island, surrounded by a canopy Stupendous. of mountains and waterfalls, is Sangonomiya Shrine. <laughs> this island is some distance from Narakami Island, home of Inazuma City. In fact, Watatsumi Island is located at the far opposite like, end of the like islands a, like of Inazuma. It seems like an Amazon Inazuma. rainforest kind of thing. Given its yeah. distance, travelers will quickly notice the unique culture and customs among the residents of Watatsumi Island. However, 
Travelers should be aware that Sangonomiya is also home to the Resistance Army, which has formed oh, yeah. in opposition of the Vision Hunt Decree. It's just, damn, there's like Sometimes so much drama I happening. Can't help but fear that we. Mm -mm. Oh, Pardon me. I will surely present you with all the details once you have arrived at Inazuma. <laughs> Next, we have Seirai Island. Holy moly. It is said that this island that was once huge, subject like, to a terrible like, disaster. Like the center burst. of the island was enveloped by a perpetual thunderstorm, which formed the island's unique geography it and landscape you see now. And this is Surumi oh, Island, a mysterious island that has been shrouded by a dense fog. It has been many years since anyone has no dared to venture to this island. Yeah, Inazuma go is home there. to many majestic sights to see, many of which are hidden away in more secluded locations. I heard his, Take his this huge, huge tree right? growing among the mountains, for example. Though its trunk has been completely hollowed out, Another peculiar leaves shaped like bird feathers still grow from its lofty yeah, branches. Like, Interesting. And here we have one of Inazuma's like? more gloomy areas, where gloomy. the plants take a seemingly unnatural form. It wouldn't Almost be finding a lot of plants. Away some twisted thing. Dendro? Dendro? And finally, our last stop is Inazuma's largest shrine. The Grand Narukami Shrine. Well, I like the, the tree The Grand in the Narukami back the, Shrine sits atop Mount Yogo box? on Narukami Island, overlooking lush and vibrant blossoms of Thunder Sakura, just as the Shogun's everlasting rain looks upon us. So, travelers, have any of the islands piqued your interest? I like that though mountain, this was a most hasty that mountain introduction, that I assure you that you will be Yo, able to cool. enjoy these sights at your own leisure once you have arrived. I want to go there now. If only there could be someone capable of turning the state of affairs in Inazuma. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> how improper of me. <clears throat> of course. Travelers, of course. I shall be awaiting the day we can meet face to face in Inazuma City with great anticipation. Whoa, so how did you like the sneak peek? That was yeah. phenomenal! So gorgeous, oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, the Genshin Impact team is working hard to create an amazing All fantasy world right, so that's what I mean the end, huh? Exploring. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun to sit Hopefully back and Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction, and... The and... <laughs> and with that... Thanks for watching the Genshin Impact version 1.6 special program. Reaction. Well, thanks everyone, have fun! Bye-bye everybody! Later days, Bye. dude. Bye. Later days, dude, then do this. <laughs>